He's a healer. I know you'll do it for me. Hey. Said it to me, but go work. I know you'll do it for me. I said, I know. I know you'll do it for me. I said, I know. I know you'll do it for me. I said, I know. I know you'll do it for me. I said, I know. I know you'll do it for me. us maybe you just joined us welcome child of god this is fire prayers no doubt the spirit of god is still alive it's still active waiting for us to partake in this kingdom of the most high god and yes the prophet of god is about to come he's about to bless me and you he's about to prophesy into our lives he's about to open doors for us yes and this is the year 2020 the year of testimonies the year of blessing Blessings. nothing has changed we do not shake we do not waver but what god has said from the beginning of the year it is still working it is still somebody's door is about to open somebody's testimony is about to come somebody's blessing is about to come you just stay tuned to this powerful powerful Friday service as the man of God prepares himself to come and bless us. Remember, child of God, the numbers on the screen. Take this number when he's about to prophesy. Be ready, be ready, be ready, child of God, because when he comes, whatever word that will come, it will surely come to bless us. I was reading the scripture the other day, Psalm 35. The Bible says, Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me, fight Amen. against those who fight against me. And on this day, fire prayers, we are going to pray against anybody who is fighting against us. Amen. Anybody who is standing against our testimony. Anyone who is standing against our blessing. You know, the word contend, it means somebody who is competing with you. The Bible says contend against those who contend. Somebody who is competing with you for that position at work. Somebody who is contending with you for that breakthrough, for that testimony. The Bible says, Lord, you stand against them. Fight against them. And this is the day that the Lord has made. This is fire prayers. We are going to pray for the Spirit of God to fight against anybody who is against me and you. Amen. Anyone who is against our testimony. Child of God, get ready for the anointing. You know, number one prophet when he comes here he's about to shake this place he's about to change the atmosphere remember distance is never a barrier you just connect with your faith connect 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 child of god connect don't go anywhere stay right there in front of your screen as the man of god is about to come and speak life into our lives oh i am so excited because i know when it's fire prayers something magical is about to happen something explosive is about to happen go don't go anywhere stay right there right now and forget don't for, don't forget that you must take the number on the screen and whatever the prophet will say to us I beg you in the name of God, do it. Because a direction from the from the prophet of God is a doorway, is a key. 
for our testimony. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. Tell me something, I'm giving you just one year. Prophesy, man of God. You'll be the greatest prophet in Zimbabwe. This is a time you need to humble yourself. No matter who you are, either you have money or you don't have money. John chapter 12, verse number 12, up to 36. Well, welcome back, child of God. Maybe you just tune in right now. Welcome to Fire Prayer Service, live and colored here on Number One TV. Maybe you'll catch us on, on Facebook. You are welcome nonetheless. Remember, it is Fire Prayers, and whenever we meet in the house of God, whenever we meet in the presence of God, we have the faith and the strength that, yes, God is about to do something for us. And I'm not alone. The Number One Prophet is here to speak a word of deliverance, and speak a word of breakthrough upon our lives. Are you you ready prophet every day yes i'm ever ready god bless yes. you amen amen god bless you. amen amen the children of god cannot wait because fire prayers is always fire we expect mm. fire we expect the blessing we yeah. expect yeah. to stand against those who fight against us i'm so happy to meet them again amen you know okay. since the lockdown i think we are on seven days eight, eight, eight days eight, eight. Um, eight. we are still going yeah so another eight days will come mm. Then another two, four days will come. Yes. Then we finish. Mm. We finish very soon. But even I heard that, I heard that they maybe they will put another days. But that one, I, I've just seen it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. True. But you know, I, I thank God for this opportunity, ne? Amen. Because if you can see, since uh, this problem came, I got a lot of time to pray. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. If you can see, since morning, I think when, uh, I since morning, I was in church. Mm. I was in church praying. And I, I'm somebody who don't want people to see how I pray. Because Jesus Christ, nobody see how he pray. He yeah. pray. And one thing is, there's a directions in the prayers. Mm. So, uh, it has built my life. And I wish I'm in the church. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Because, you know... The power is shaking inside me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I want to tell anyone that watching me that you have not made a mistake that you have put your number on number one TV. To be honest, this night I will let God open His hands in your life. Amen. Call your neighbors. Call your neighbor. Tell them that Anapuku, I'm on life. Number one prophet. I'm on life. Number one prophet. Yes. I'm on life. Call everybody that they must put their television there because very soon miracles, signs, and wonders will start taking place. Amen. So as you're watching me right now, maybe you need some prayers, uh, be wait and uh, let's hear the word of God first. After that, God have a work to do. Today is Friday, we call it fire, fire prayers. prayers. Fire prayers, you know when you wear white, white like this, and I can see those church people who are addicted, mm. they are wearing it now. They are wearing it right now, I, I know. can see, yes. yeah. Yes. Because you know our church members, to be honest, to be honest, honest, they like the church and too, too they much. like prophets. Too much. I know you won't get any you won't get it in the church. Mm. A young guy, a nice prophet like me, that mm -hmm. the anointing and the favor of God is upon my life. Mm. You won't get it. You know, in this, when somebody become a prophet or a pastor, you see the person become they have a long beard. Mm. The person have a big stomach, you know, those and things. Certain voice. Yeah, certain voice when they talk uh, to the God bless you and those things. But today if you can see, God has given us power. Mm. Because anytime when we talk. Miracles, signs and wonders take place. Yes. Yes. So I want to tell anybody who watch Prophet Nanapoku that they must get faith. Yes. They must believe yes. that it's true. They have the problem now, but mm. the problem will never stay mm. for the rest of their life. Yes. Because anything that we meet in this life, it we live it in this life. Yes. Anything that come and across us in this life. We jump across the, the problem. Amen. So I want everyone that watch Prophet Anapoku to know that, yes, God himself, this night, he will change you and bless you. This night, as you are listening to me or you are watching me, I believe in God that your life will never, ever be the same. I want to tell you that you are blessed, even though if we, we didn't start the prayers yet, yes. but you are blessed. Yes. Don't take your television anyway, because number one TV is the best television of on uh, public, public channel because Edna, you know what? Let me tell you, you put your television in a certain place. Mm. When you put it there, fine, the pastor is working, but the work didn't touch you. Yes, 
You get my point? Yeah, and we have those, as I'm talking now, I've not preached yet. But you can see my device is touching them. Yes. Thank you. It's not anything. It's the anointing. Yes. Because if you can see, as it's Friday today, everybody, mm. you know, the whole world, everybody is watching me. Yes. And I wonder, somebody called from Huha. Where the channel there? Huan. Yeah, they call what? Huan. Huan. Uh, uh, so somebody called me from there. Mm -hmm. So when they call me, I was a bit scared. So I make the phone like this because, you know, Chinese, they are very, very, uh, 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 Chinese, they are very, very distant. They can bring that coronavirus through the phone. So when I receive it, I hear, uh, oh, the guy, he was talking to me, but I, I was just feeling small, small. You know, I, I hear China. Mm -hmm. When the car, when the car call, he said, "Chukuna, chukuna, na." I said, "Yes." I said, "When she am passion in Chigaya," and I said, "To shine, my shoe guy, to shine, which is what? To shine, like I'm fine." Oh, okay, 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 nice, nice. Oh, I hear, I hear channel language. Wow. Shifu means master. Shifu. So if I ask you tomorrow, you still remember Shifu. Whatever you ask me, I can, I can talk about it. Like I'm, like I'm going to buy Bible. She won't suffer by bullying. Yeah. Wow. Wow. At least you're a multi language prophet. That means you can establish a church in China. Oh, China very soon. Uh. You know now that they are believing God because of what has happened to them. Yes. Uh, so very soon I'll go to China. You know, last year I was in China. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was in China. Then time coronavirus was not on. Mm. And I went to eat some. Food and they, they, their food are nice. Mm. Chinese, their food are very nice. Just that you know, this kind of not doing straight things mm. because some of their food are very ugly. Mm. Mm. Cockroaches and those nasty food, you know, mm. they are the whole bring this thing on us. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Uh, one of the, 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 the provinces has now banned mm. the eating cats and dogs, uh. so it's not allowed anymore. They, uh, they ban uh, that China. Mm. Uh, they have to ban them, even a uh, uh, pig. Mm. They have to let them eat chicken and beef, that is all. That is all, mm. truly speaking. Chicken and beef, that's a, the, 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 the law we have to give to them. Must they must leave the rats for them to move in our room. Yes. Because in the old days, when you're in village, you know, and there's no rats in your room, you're not a guy. Hi. <laughs> 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 Children of God, God bless you. You know, sometimes, Edna, you use some to joke, play jokes, so that People who are watching us to see that, yes, because somebody is watching me and the person has lost hope in life. Yes. Somebody is watching me and the person don't have any faith. Mm. Somebody, life, even somebody is watching me, they're in the room mm. with the husband. Mm. 20, 21 days, they are fight. Nobody talks to nobody. Hey, brother, forget, okay? Talk to your wife and forget about everything. These days, we don't fight. If you're a man and you are fighting your wife, that means you, the sense is too small. Mm. These days, we don't fight, okay? When I finish talking, Go to bed with your wife, be in the blanket, kiss her and say, baby, I love you. It will never happen again. Sometimes, you know, Ada, we hold, we the holding grudges. You know, some of the grudges can move us from God. Yes. Mm -hmm. So married men, I know 21 days is not easy. You want to go to your girlfriend. <laughs> he has been calling you, I miss her, but be with you, your, your darling. Uh, be with her. Uh, do you understand? They have to be with their, their wife and forget, forget about that. Because you, Ada, you get a girlfriend, fine, you love the girlfriend. But the money you spend on that lady, you can use the money to build the family. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, the world has become hard. Yes. The world is very hard now. Mm -hmm. People are crying. No money comes from anywhere. Yeah. People, you know what? A certain man called me today. He said, Prophet, things are hard to the point I wanted to commit suicide. Mm. He said, he, he called from Kenya. Okay. He wanted to commit suicide. Why? All because... Things are hard. Mm. And the man said, he heard that we are putting money to an to an email transaction, transfer. Mm. And the man said he borrowed the money wow. and he put in our accounts. Yes. You know what happened to the man today? He's in Kenya. Yes. He said, Prophet Nana, if I'm telling you what God has done, you'll never believe. Wow. He said the father has passed away about 17 years. Okay. Not only the father keep a certain gold somewhere. Mm. One of his house, they went there. The father showed him in the dream. When they went there, they find a good, say a bar of good about three. The man said, Prophet, and I, I will make sure wow. I will give you half of the bar. After depositing money. After he deposited the so money. All these years, he's never dreamt his. No. Father. And that man, you know, you know what, what, what shocked my life? That man, the prophet, I always follow you on Facebook and TV. 
but I never came to your church. Yes. It was my wish to come, but I don't have money. Yes. So the man said he borrowed money mm -hmm. from somebody, he put in account, mm -hmm. and he transferred the money in our accounts. Yes. The man said, Prophet, what I have seen, he's in Kenya. Wow. As opposed to calling for him to give testimony. Give testimony. Do you understand? True. One thing that I'm, 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 I'm happy is, in all, we give thanks to God. Amen. In Amen. all, not Nanapoku has done it. No, because no. me, Nanapoku, without the Holy Spirit, I'm nobody. Without yes. God, I'm nobody. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. And yes. when the Spirit of God is about to come, is when I'm standing in front of people mm. or when I'm doing the work of God. Yes. Outside the work of God, I'm a human being. Yes. People must know that. Yes. You know, many people value Nanapoku or a pastor or a bishop, like, oh, bishop is a different person. Mm. Bishop is not a different person. Prophet is not a different person. All of us are the same. Amen. But one thing that separates us from people is that when you stand in front of the uh, the pulpit, mm. God spirit, the spirit of God comes to you. Yes. That makes you become a small difference yeah. between yeah. you and the church members. The church members. But when you finish and the Holy Spirit separates himself, himself, you and a uh, human being are the same. Yeah, the same. So people people must know that I eat papa, I don't say I eat malamoko yes. you know this uh, this lockdown, I kill a sheep. Uh, 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 what? A goat, big one, mm. <laughs> and I put in the fridge. Mm. One thing is, Eda, let me tell children of God something. They must feel free. They mustn't panic. Mm. Things are going on. But you know what? The air that is brewing around, they must know that that blood where air is taking a lot of dust. It's taking a lot of dirty. It's taking a lot of things. But you, child of God, don't shake, don't move around. Amen. Just be on one point yes. and tell your God that it's true. It doesn't matter how the storms will raise yes. up. It doesn't matter how the situation, the problem will take me. Yes. No matter what, God will bless me. Look at Jesus Christ. He was able to sleep mm -hmm. in the ship, mm -hmm. uh, prophet, mm -hmm. whilst there was a big storm mm -hmm. happening. The ship was moving, yeah. he, but he was able to sleep mm -hmm. because he knows who he is. Thank you. And he knows the power within him. him. That's why I'm saying that people must not panic. Yes. Because if Jesus Christ was in the ship, mm -hmm. the ship was shaking. It's true. When the ship was shaking, people in the ship was they confused. Were panicking. They were crying. Because Peter was somebody who was very good in terms of a uh, uh, sea. Yes. And his brother James, all yes. of them was there. Yes. When the ship was turning, mm. eh, it go right, it go left. The Lord, nothing was controlling the ship mm. by the air that was controlling the ship. Yes. yes. Mm. Are you getting my point? Yeah, you when you see the air was controlling the ship, that means there was a problem. Mm. We have something called the storms in life. Yes. Sister, because of the storms, your life cannot be stable. The life drives you to the left side. Then the life drives you to the right side. Then it drives you back and forward. Mm. Because of that, you, that child of God, you don't know what is going on yes. in your life because yes. something is controlling your life as if it's a remote. Mm. You have no control over your Thank life you. at all. Yes. That's why Jesus Christ, when they were on the sea, mm. Bible said the wind was very strong. Yes. And Peter said, let's allow Jesus to sleep because this one is my work. Yes. And sometimes you can use your knowledge to do anything that you want to do. Mm. You can use your mind to do whatever that you want to do. Life is not how you make it, yes. but it's how God controls you. Amen, amen, amen. I, I think you something. Yes. Life is not how you control it. You cannot control life. No. But God is the one who controls you for life, for you, to, for you to become a master of life. Amen, amen. Because when you let life put you down, life will sleep on you. That time, you can never come up. Mm. That is what Bible says in the Mika that my enemies rejoice not. When I fall in seven times, seven times, I'll come back again. Okay. Do you understand something? Okay. Many people have made life sleep on them. Hmm. Because of life is sleeping on them, either. they cannot turn back. Hmm. They cannot go forward. Yes. Because life has made them stuck one side. Hmm. I hear you. That's why I say, whatever you're doing, one thing that you have to do is let God intervene. Amen. Amen. Because if God is not intervening, you can never win. Mm. Because so far as you come, you say, God, I take you as my personal savior. At the same time, devil is at work. Yes. That is where devil will go back to Isaiah chapter 16. Do you understand? Yes. Because the moment you stand in the church and I say, God, I take you as my personal savior. One, you and the devil, you don't have any contact or any covenant. Yes. You have separated yourself out from that yes. devil. And let me tell you something. It's not something which is easy. That maybe you are dating a guy. Fine. Then another guy will come and take the, the, guy, from, the guy from you now. Mm. It's not common. Mm. That old guy that you are dating will never allow the new guy to come. Yes. 
All because he loves you. Is somebody getting my point? Do you understand? Because the moment you separate yourself from that Satan, then you come to Jesus Christ. One, that Satan will never allow you to go with Jesus just like that. He will try any ways of means to bring you back. Because Bible says when somebody comes to the Christ, one, the person has become a new creation. Yes. One, the old things have passed away. Mm. Somebody is listening to me. All things have passed away. But the problem is still there. Because the devil wants you to, to drag you back to the old Thank place. Thank you. Mm. He wants to drag you back to the old things. But one thing that you have to do is make, let your focus be on God. Amen. Amen. Let your focus be one. Yes. Let your focus be one side. Yes. That though no, it's true that yeah, the life is dragging me mm. to the highest, to the highest pit. Mm. But I will never allow this life to drag me. Amen. It's a determination. Yes. If you don't determine, you can never succeed. Yes. Because your determination will show where your dignity or where your destiny belongs. Amen. Amen. Mm. And I'm 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 I want to tell the children of God, those who are watching me, that life is putting you in a certain point. Mm. Life is dragging you, it's driving you. Okay, let me. Life, man. Life is like you're in the car. Yes. And the car is on the hill. Mm. And the car you are controlling. The engine is not working. The tires are working alone. Nothing is inside. Mm. And you are holding the steer. Yes. The steer is not working. Mm. What are you going to do? It's taking you to anywhere because there's no control. There's no accelerator. There's nothing. Yes, yes. You get my point? So the life has dragged some people to the point that now they feel like committing suicide. Mm. But let me tell you, the committing suicide cannot solve the problem. You know, many people have died for their children to suffer. I'm always saying it, that none of my children will suffer. Yes. It's something that I have determined. Yes. It's something that I'm arranging for them. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because a certain prophet died and the prophet left debt. Yes. So me, I don't want to die for my children to die and to, to suffer. In debt, yes. You get my point? Yes. Thank you. Here, yeah, let me tell you, when you come to the Jesus Christ, when the moment you come nearest to him, one thing that you have to know, you have clean. Amen. You become a newborn creation. But since you said, I take Jesus as my personal savior, nothing has changed. Mm. The secret, the diabetes that you were having last year, you just said, I take Jesus, the, the, the sickness is still there. It's an old thing. When Bible says old things has passed away, the sickness must move out. Amen. Financial breakthrough must come. Amen. So, a, a cases must break. Amen. That means you become a new creation. Amen. True prophet. You cannot tell me that prophet, I, I take Jesus as my personal savior whilst you are still suffering. No. You cannot tell the prophet, Jesus is my father. Why you are, who told you? Hmm. He don't know you, I'm telling you. Yes. This come here to Jesus, I knew you. I, I, I want to know you, so let me know you well. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you come to the Christ, you become a new Christian. Mm. All things have passed away. Okay. You get my point? Amen. All things have passed away. Yes. I want to tell somebody something that who is watching me right now. I want to put your mind somewhere. When the old things has passed away, that means you need to achieve the new things. Yes. But the new thing you have been praying, go to a lot of pastors. Prophets are doing a lot of dilation, but nothing is going on. But I want to put it in your mind that we are serving a living God. Amen. And that when God says yes, no man can say no. And when he changes, nobody can replace it. Yes. And when he replaces it, nobody can change it. Yes. He is the omnipotent God. Mm. I want to tell you something. Many things that are stuck in your life. Mm. Many things that you cannot, it cannot make you go forward. Mm. Many things that is pulling you, that is holding you. Mm. Sister, because of that, you cannot move to anywhere. Some air is pulling you on the sea. Mm. Because of that, Jesus Christ has separated himself a little bit. Yes. They wanted to break Jesus up. But Jesus, uh, Peter said, Jesus, just sleep. This one, my experience can do it. Yes. Sister, sometimes you can put your experience that I can make it. But without Jesus Christ, you can never make it. Mm. Apostle Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Sister, by the grace of God, I believe in God. The alien virus that is moving around the world, mm. I speak as a prophet of God. I take away every virus by the power of the Holy Ghost. I speak right now as a prophet of God. What you are expecting today, what you are going through today, you will never ever experience it tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus, that's what Elisha said. If I be a prophet of God, Child of God, I want to tell you something this night. If I be a prophet of God, any problem that you are going through, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come against every problem. The proto shall be the escatol. I speak 
right now as a prophet of God. Yes. Wherever that you are sitting watching me right now, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I take away every problem. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I take away every infirmity. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, may he Jehovah enter the house. May he Jehovah come wherever you are. Every problem that is taking place in that side, I come against it by the power of the authority of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I speak right now. You will never die premature death. Every sickness that they have raised against you in the mighty name of Jesus, I return it back by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. Bible says, Martha brother was lifeless. Lazarus was sick because Jesus was not there. So sometimes I ask myself, people pray a lot, but when they mention the name Jesus, nothing happened. Yes. Somebody must not give up in life. Somebody must not give up that, no, I've been worshiping God, I've been going to church, nothing is going on. Yes. Sister, let me tell you something that happened. David was chased out from the house to the, farm, uh, to the, forest. To the forest. But let me tell you something. David didn't go to the forest just like that, but God took David to go and learn something. He took him for a certain studies. He took him for a certain period. Says that what you're going through is there for a certain period. It didn't come and meet you, but the problem that you're going through is like a visitor. I told you in the church that anytime when a visitor come and visit you, no matter what a visitor will leave you. Sister, I want to tell you something this evening or this night that every problem that you're going through is a visitor. It doesn't matter how long visitor will visit. No matter what visitor must go where it comes from. I speak as a prophet of God, any problem that you encounter right now, that problem is a visitor. I don't care how long the train, how long it's like a train. Yeah. I don't know. I don't care how long the problem has come. It's going to pass by by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will never die with this problem in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, if I be a prophet of God, may I open every closed doors. May I open every closed doors. Financial breakthrough. May you receive your healing. May you receive your breakthrough. But the power of the Holy Ghost, but the power of the Holy Spirit, but the power Power yes, of the Holy Ghost. Yes, May He overcome wherever you Amen. are. May He enter your house. Yes, Every yes, problem that is there, He's taken it out yes, by yes, the power yes, of the Holy Ghost. Yes, I speak yes, as a prophet of God. Yes, you will never see the problem again. Amen. Uh, Moses said, The Egyptians that you see today, tomorrow by this time, you will see them no more. I speak as an oracle of God. Yes, Any problem that you see this night, mm. if I be a prophet of God, I cancel every problem in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, if I be a prophet of God, I release you to the highest level. It's true that the, 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 the country has become tight. Things are tough, but you a child of God. Nothing can be tough in your life. Huh? You a child of God. There's no food around, huh? but the food will never ever move out from your fridge. I speak in the name of Jesus. David said, he, he washed my head with oil. Huh? He anointed my head with oil. Huh? And he blesses my life. Huh? Sister, I want to tell you something this night. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. You will never die premature death. You will never lose the game. Huh? But you are the winner in the name of Jesus. You are winner by the power of the Holy Ghost. I say you are the winner in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Jesus Christ. Heard Lazarus was sick. Yes. Jesus couldn't go. Mm. The third day he couldn't go. Yes. But Lazarus died. Mm. When he died, let me tell you, they buried him. Yes. Because Jesus was not there. Mm. So when Jesus arrived in the house, people started talking. They have been mentioning his name for a long time. But nothing has happened. Matter you have been moving this Jesus Christ. But when your brother was sick, Jesus was not there. Mm. Sister, I want to tell you something, okay? It seems like Jesus don't know you. It seems he has forget you. Mm. Sister, Maybe you are forgetting him, okay? Brother, maybe you are forgetting him. He's still watching. He's still seeing. Sometimes you think that he's not with you. He's with you, okay? Sometimes he let the problem come. When the problem comes, he put you in his palm. Yes. Then he's got you. That time, you check around. You never see anyone. Mm. All your supporters, those who support to help you, mm. all of them have run away. You see, you don't find them. Mm. But sister, don't complain too much. He know what is good and you know what is better for your life. Mm. Sister, I want to tell them that whatsoever that they are going through, yes. it's not going to let them down. But the problem is going to break them up. Mm. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus, they say, well, close down. 
or what? Lockdown. Lockdown. Thank you. If you have locked down, my God, God will going to unlock you up in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. This night, I speak as an oracle of God. Amen. I speak as a prophet of yes. God. Yes. I speak as a, a servant of God. Yes. Any problem that you encounter now is over. Jesus name. I say it's over. In Jesus. I say it's over. In Jesus Wherever name. that we are, I want you to say Amen. Amen. Ada, you know what? All the church members are watching us. Yes. I want to tell you something. We are about to pray. Wherever you are opening your television, we are about to do what you are about to pray. Something must happen. Amen. Wherever that you are, sister, make your mind that you are in the church. Just let your spirit be with me, connect with me. Yes. Because I know Holy Ghost is coming wherever that you are. Amen. I know Holy Ghost. Is, is, is intervening your problem amen, right now. Amen. So wherever that you are, God is by your side. Yes. Wherever that you are, it's true the weather is hard, the weather is not good. Yes. Things are hard, things are getting worse. But it will never be worse for you. Amen. I speak as a prophet of God. Amen. Amen. Wherever that you are, yes, Lord. wherever that you are, yes. wherever that you are, mm. yes, Holy Ghost is coming to you. Mm. Wherever that you are, Holy Spirit is coming by your side. Jesus. He know where you are. He know what you are going through. He know the problem that you are encounter now. I speak right now. I speak right now. May He take away all your stress. May He take away all your problem. May He take away all what you are thinking. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Somebody is listening to me now. Yes. I see breakthrough is coming. Amen. I see the favor is coming. I see deliverance is coming. I see wherever that you are watching me, either on Facebook or on Number One TV, God is by your side. Amen. You just believe that it's, 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 it's well with your soul. You just believe that it has come to pass. Amen. You just believe that something good is coming to you. Amen. You just believe that if it's true, people are in their houses. Amen. People are not working, but yes. you just believe. Just believe that something can happen into your yes. house. Yes. Something can yes. happen into yes. your family. Something can happen through you. Yes. To your, you connect to your family. Yes. So just make your mind. That God is by your side. Just make your mind that this night, something new, something good is coming over your life. Just make your mind that this night, there's a, there's a miracle that is coming over your way. Just make your mind that God is about to change your life. Just make your mind that something new is coming to your life. My name is Prophet Napoku. This night, wherever that you are, I want you to make up your mind. Know that something great is coming. The reason why you are empty is that God is the one who makes it empty. Because he makes David cup empty. So David said, yes, this time around, he's filling my cup and my cup, it ran over, it ran over, and goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. This night, I want to tell you something. This night, nothing is over, nothing has spoiled. I know things are, things are not better in your life. Mm. I know things are not good in your life. Mm. But let's believe one God. Amen. Let's believe in one God. Amen. Because when that God says yes, no man no in this world no. can say no. When he opened the door, nobody can close it. Yes. And when the door closed, nobody can open. This night, I want to tell you something. There's a door that has closed in your life. I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. There's many keys, many padlock that has locked in your life. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. I unlock every demonic doors. Mm -hmm. I unlock every demonic padlock. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I unlock every financial breakthrough. Oh, yes, I unlock every sickness. Amen. I unlock every problem that Amen. you encounter. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus name. You know, God, God is by your side. Amen. You know, God, this night he's with you. Yes. You know, God, this night he's by your side. Amen. Don't be scared. Don't panic. Mm. God, that God, he's with you. Wherever you are, I want you to just open your mouth and speak to God. Tell God, oh God, this is my time, this is my time. In this hardship, this is your time. In this hardship, he can open the door for you. In this time of sickness, in this time of virus, that's where he's by your side. Wherever you are, I want children of God to pray. I want them to open their mouth. I want them to open their mouth. Speak to God, oh God, this is my time. God, this is my time. God, this is my time. Open your mouth and pray wherever that you are. I see God is opening every closed doors for you. But the power of the Holy Spirit, I feel the Holy Spirit right now. Maybe you have just opened your television right now. This prophet Anapoku, number one, number one, number one. We are, we are in the fire prayers. Wherever that you are watching me, just come nearest to your television. Very soon, very soon, I'll pray for you. Very soon, very soon, you'll see the miracle of God. 
very soon, very soon, God will come to your life, and that God is working this time. Mm, yes. Because as I'm in the studio, what I'm seeing, mm. I'm seeing a lot of things. Wow. I see a lot of things. So I want everyone that's watching me right now, make up your mind. Make up your mind. And I take the Bible. Yes. Take the Bible. To John chapter 3, 16. This is what everybody know. John chapter 3, verse number 16. John 3, 16. I can't remember when I was in school. You know when they say, they say everybody must speak quotation. Mm. Somebody speak it. I say, sir, here, speak my quotation. <laughs> John 3. 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son, mm. that whoever believes in him shall not, not perish, perish. Uh -huh. but have everlasting life. Okay. For God so loved this world, and he gave his son, that is Jesus Christ, yes. to us. Mm. Is there anyone that believes in Jesus Christ? The person will never perish, mm -hmm. but the person will have everlasting life. Yes. He said a certain way. Jesus said it. He said, "I am the Alpha and the Omega, yes. the beginning yes. and the end." I want to put your mind somewhere this morning and this night. This evening. This evening, yeah. Somebody loves this world, yes. and as he loves this world, he loves everything in this world. Mm -hmm. He loved woman in this world. Mm. And he bring a son that we must kill a son because of us. Mm. But Edna, so when you study this, this, this world, this world has ten. Mm. This world has a lot. It has ten. People don't fear things like the first. No. Sin is continual, becoming worse in, yes. in the world. Yes. Everybody is moving around so that everybody will get food to eat. It's not a bad thing. But how to eat is the most important thing. Yes. Somebody loved this world when he brought us here. For us to go and lead, come and live in this world. Mm. But I don't see what is going on in this world. <coughs> Whatever that God, Jesus Christ said in Ephesians, all of them are coming to pass. People are dying. People are dying. So when I sit down and say, ah, <coughs> if it's me, what am I going to do? Somebody's watching me now. The person I put himself on his things. Share other things are not important for now. No. Go to Italy. I was watching CNN. Mm. A certain man has withdraw all his money. Mm. Millions. Yes. And you have throw it on the streets. Nobody is there to pay the money. The streets are empty. The streets are empty all because the man said he was having the family, mother side and the father side. All of them are died. It left him alone. Oh, my goodness. When the man get everything in this world and the man died, what is the profit on it? Nothing. I can kill now to get money. Yes. But no, if nobody kills you, you will die. It's true, prophet. Sister, I want, to, I want to advise you this night. Somebody love you, that is why the person is still with you. He brought his son because of me and you, our sin. Our sin. Mm -hmm. But now the sin is still continuing. continuing. I watched something on South African television, I think, yesterday. Mm -hmm. The sin has developed to the point that now we don't afraid of sin. No. The sin has, it has developed to the point that now, the word is a word of sin. Yes. And it's common. It's normal in our eyes. Yes. Somebody can kill somebody and say, oh, this one is just killing. Well, yes, somebody killed two. Mm. If you kill one, it's normal. Mm. It's not a sin. Yes. That's why we take the sin now. Yes. As I was watching something on South African TV, a certain man, old man, old man, about 57 years or 60 years, yes. he said he don't like any woman. And he doing gay polygamy. You know gay polygamy? I saw it from him. You saw it? Thank you. About five five guys, all of them are make themselves as a gay. And uh, if coronavirus is killing us, who is saying that God must uh, forgive us? If we don't change, we'll continue to die. That's what I will tell you. 
Because the person who died in Italy is like you. Amen. And I'm telling you, I'm very serious this night. People must, people must be educated in their mind. Yes. They must grow. Yes. There's not a time I'm going to show my body to a guy so that guys will like me. Hey, sister, somebody have a big bum more than you. In Italy, the person has passed away. Somebody has money than you. Somebody has more big company than you. Somebody is working more than you. Humble yourself. Amen. And in case I'm going on this world, women are becoming devil. Men are becoming uh, uh, criminals. Mm. Nowadays, church, there's no truth in church. Mm. The prophet wants to eat. So, prophet uses his mind to collect a church member money. A married man, a married woman, you are watching me, you have a boyfriend. So you want God to bless you because of millions. You want God to bless you because of car. You will never get it because you already commit sin in your life. If you want God to bless you, move out from every sin. As I think I told prophet, South Africa here, we have legalized it. You can take a, a gay. And I said, no matter how South African president is full, you will never allow somebody to sleep with him. He has re the government of South Africa has legalized mm -hmm. that you can marry again, again. Yes. But that president, because he's wise, he will never ever do that gay things. Yes. See the sin that is second that is going on in this world. We don't get this medication. Mm -hmm. Money is there. Money is in there to what? People are donating money, mm -hmm. but there's no cure. Yes. We forgot this all. Then we put our ass in China. <coughs> Ada, every sin that is coming is coming from China. Yes. Now they make a robot, a woman robot. Mm. You can sleep with the woman, mm. which is a toy. Yes. So if I'm a man, I don't want a woman, then I go and buy plastic. Mm. So when you come, then I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping with plastic. That's what human beings are. Our mind has changed. That's what God has done to us. He has moved our, his, our mind from Him. And very soon, when, this, when the, the trumpet sound, people will regret. Share that. People must not say, hey, this is the time I need to make money. Share. Somebody has thrown millions on the street. Nobody is there to pick it. Police is not there to pick it. The person said, I'm, I'm fed up in this world. Because all the gains of this world are not satisfying. Do you understand? And the things that is going on this world, we need to run away from this world. But things are on the way coming. Leaders in this world are not faithful. Yes. Before you become a leader, president, or before you become a minister, he has to kill somebody for somebody. He has to let somebody lose his life before he get the power. Wow. It's true, prophet. Ada, sin is in this world, I'm telling you. If no prophet is talking about it and he said, God revealed to me, Colonel Valor, you are very stupid. This is the time we need to teach the church member that gay is not good. Hey, lesbianism is not good. They must stop drinking and stop smoking. Coronavirus, mm. it came for us. It, it, it must treat us nice. It must massage us for, for Christians to that. Yes, something is working against us. Mm. Now you are going there and you put something on your mouth. You are protecting yourself. Mm. And I think that is going on this one. Eh? Nobody is talking about it. It's too much profit. The West must call unity group. Mm. Let's intercede for the world. Yes. The thing that is coming there, eh? Edda, if you sit down, if I sit down, then my heart starts shaking. Yes. You see the people that they are dying, not thousands. Not thousands. Getting to millions. Every day they are dying. Yes. And the sin is still going on. Yes. <coughs> As I'm talking now, somebody's watching me now. Mm. He's planning how he can escape to go to the girlfriend. Mm. And we have some people that we can put the Bible, open their stomach, put the Bible inside. He will open the stomach and throw it out. Mm. We lack of the word of God. Because of that, we, God, God, the, 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 the anger of God has come to us. Do you think God is afraid of us? No. Somebody has brought, do you think God is doing that? It's God who is doing that. I'm telling the truth. The word was not like this. Mm. Who told his son of food? Mm. That virus should have come Jesus Christ's time. Even if he didn't hear about any virus. Mm. 
And now, the way this world is going, people must people must calm down. We must let our mind go on, on God, the word of God, straight. Amen. Now, somebody can call prophet. So you didn't see anything. What, what do you want me to see? Look at the sin that is going on in this world. We don't afraid to pour the blood out. Mm. Pastors are drinking. Pastors are smoking. Pastors are doing nonsense in the house of God. Mm. They just cover the face of God and they bring their own idol in the house of God. Mm. A certain prophet called me. The moment I, the same time I block him, he's from a, a Abidjan. Mm. Maybe he's watching me. I don't care. I brought that prophet. When you call prophet, I know him. Okay. Prophet, can you help me? Uh, I want to get powers to work like the way you are working. Maybe you went somewhere. The same time. I, I lock him and I block him. him. Edda, if you see that some of the friends cannot help your Christianity life, take them out from your life. Out. Because heaven is real. Amen. No matter what, Jesus Christ is coming. Yes. Sister, there's accountability for us. Whatsoever you are doing, no matter what, there's a judgment for you. Yes. Repent your mind and take Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Because very soon, you are a young guy. Today, that you can move around. Today, that you can go and come. But there will be a time, what you are doing, you cannot do it again. So when we read Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse number 1, he said, it's there for a man to die. I think I forgot. Is the, uh -huh. That one is Hebrew. I forgot. He said, remember. Thank you. Yep. Uh, it's okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. Mm -hmm. He said, remember your creature when you are young. When you're in your youth. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Many people must yeah, People have been regretting. Somebody know that this sickness will kill me. That is why he made Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Since that nothing, nothing is over, okay? Because of marriage. He's going to Zangoma to Zangoma. Mm -hmm. Because of work, he's going to Zangoma to Zangoma. Because a certain fetish priest will help me. Nobody can help you in this world apart from Jesus Christ. He wants a holy life from you. Mm. Ada, some things that we don't know. We pastor, we don't teach them. Yes. Things are on the way coming. Mm. People will run. Mm. Now the people hey, hello, is not working. Mm. Nothing is working. Everything has the word has ceased. Yes. Ada. Farmers are not going to work again because there, there's no food. We are not, they don't buy food again. Mm. Hunger is on the way coming. Mm. We need to be very careful. Colonel mm. Bala says, hey, it's from China. Sure, it's God who has been the curse on us. In the olden days, what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah? That people mind was sleeping. Mm. The same thing, people ears are closed. People don't see what is going on. You know when you hear Sodom and Gomorrah, they were, a man was married man. He said, hey, it's like this. It's happening in our, our time. Mm. It's happening in our time. Yes. Because they said, they have, everybody, oh, we have legalized. Mm. And I said, it doesn't matter how stupid South African president will be. Mm. He can bring that everybody can, a man can sleep with a man, but that man will never. He will never do it himself. Then another can go, I say, I come. Mm. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> mm. I want to marry you. You see a soldier shoe, Ada, they will hit your stomach, then you are, you, are, you know what? If you can say there, eh? those who are in the world, it seems that they are blind. If president didn't do, you too, you are doing it. You want a good life. Heather, the weather has changed. Too much. Things are coming. And a lot of things are coming. I want people to change their mind. Mm. <clears throat> Today, any uh, sickness can come, then we don't know a name to give. It's true. This corona, they give it a uh, coronavirus. And another, another, another name can pandemic. We don't know the name to give to that sickness. God is always doing that too. Mm. Our mind, we didn't come back out to our mind. Mm. We think this word is for us. No, it can be. People must sit down and think about it. It's not like food of China. It is. We are too relaxed. We have relaxed. Christians are relaxed. Mm. See what happened now. The whole world, it has affected the whole world. The whole world, prophet. Everybody is crying. Now, the way money has been running the world, yeah. even that money has come down. It has Thank you. I, I saw a certain man say, Where's prophet Anapoku and Bazooka? And I said, The man is stupid. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. You that man, you have about three, three boyfriends mm. outside your husband. Mm. Even as, as long as you have, you are sick. Do you understand know what I'm saying? It's true, prophet. She was once my church elder. Mm. You get my point? Mm. You, know, you know some people, they will continue to suffer. Mm. I think you understand know what I'm saying? Because you know what? Let me tell you something. 
When the problem comes to town, where is the Christians? No the pastors. Because a certain pastor is listening to the pastor pass away mm. in China. Yes. A certain pastor pass away in uh, uh, America. Mm. I don't know the children of God. Thank you. You are not getting sick. You are in your house. What you have to do is just give thanks to God. Tell God that God, this crisis must go, it must be over. Somebody sent a message now, Prof. I didn't do my nails. I didn't do my hair. Then I look at the person. I say, God bless you. Look at my hair. My hair is coming. It will be like Abraham. Because you can't go outside to go and buy food. No. When you go, police are there. Soldiers are there. And the people must repent from now. It's true. Because what is coming? If the time you realize, we see that God is in the heaven coming down. <coughs> Today, everything about this world is money. Mm. So when I see you have money, you are my wife. I don't mind, I will go and hire people to come and kill you because of the money. money. I forgot about the family that I have. Mm. A certain man can say, Mama, you are committed as a prophet. I killed my husband. Mm. Because the insurance money was okay. About three million. Because the three million, you kill somebody. This word is getting an end. The sin is going up. <coughs> the reason why Jonah, he ran away, the sin came to me anyway. So God said, go and speak to them that it has come to me. I've seen what they have been doing. Yes. Bible said, Jonah was run away. Yes. Somebody is listening to me this, this night or this evening. I don't know what you have been doing and I don't know what you are committing. Stop anything that you are doing. If you see it's not going to support the work that you are doing, not supporting the work of God, quit Amen. and lift up your hands to God. Amen. Say, God, I don't want it again. Amen. I don't want this life again. Amen. You have heard a long time that there's Jesus Christ who came to Israel. Start to search for that Jesus Christ. Look for that Jesus Christ. Do that your life will never be the same. Amen. Search for him. You will get him. I don't want to talk too much this, this night. I want to leave you here. But one thing I want to put in your mind, that remember that somebody came and died for us. Somebody loved this word. That's why the person sent his son to come and die for us because of me and you. Beloved, he died for our sin. It's true. You have been sinned a lot. But today, remember, go back again and tell Jesus and Jesus, I take you as my personal savior again. Amen. And I know he will take you. He will wash you. Stop committing sin. Anything that you see is not helping your Christianity life. Stop it. Yes. And I believe in God. God will help you and bless you. This night, Nana Poko, I say, may the Lord change your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We give thanks to the Most High God for that powerful word of God. Child of God, let us not forget. Let us go back to Christ. This is the time for us to go back to what he has done for us on the cross. To remember the cross and remember the blood that was shed for me and you to have life and have it in abundance to have everlasting life in Christ Jesus. Don't go anywhere after the break. Prophet will pray for us. Prophet will prophesy. So get ready. The numbers are already on the screen. So prepare yourself as you're about to bring a great breakthrough and a great prophecy unto us. Stay tuned, child of God. Bless you, this prophet Nanapoku. I want to tell everyone that watching me, uh, it's not over until it's over. You maybe you are seeing the, uh, the number on the screen. I have only one number here, so uh, uh, if you want to call me, call me right now. My name is Prophet Nanapoku on number one TV. I've been praying for many people since the whole of the week. And you too, maybe you need your prayers. Call then, I'll pray for you. Maybe you call and somebody pick the number. Don't worry, call, call. And global, let me tell you something. Uh, there's accounts number on television. Maybe you need a prayers. You want Prophet Napoku to pray for you. You take accounts number, then you say, Prophet Napoku, I want to sow a seed to support the work of God. Prophet Napoku, I want to sow a seed to support the work of God. So make sure, make sure, make sure that you call. The number, I have only one number on me right now. So when you call, say, Prophet, I need a prayers, I'll pray for you. You say, Prophet, I need to pray for you. I'll pray for you right now. The number, the lines have jammed because it's raining. Hammer is raining. So I think many people, those who are calling, you don't get. You don't get try to uh, try to call me right now. Try to call me right now. Try to call me right now. My name is Prophet Nanapuku number one. My name is Prophet Nanapuku number one. Somebody has called right now, but I'm on the TV. 
My name is Prophet Nana Poku, number one. You can call me right now. People are calling, but the line is not coming. It's not coming. So you can call and then I pray for you. Hello. Hello, sir. This is Prophet Nana Poku, number one. You are the first caller. Oh, thank you. Yes, madam. How are you? Oh, thank you. Yes, what do you want God to do for you? Uh, what do you say, sister? I want to help you. Are you to help me? And you want me to help you? About what? The life, my life, and over you. Okay, I need to pray for you right now, okay? Okay. Father, I pray for this woman by the power of Holy Spirit. I open a great door in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister, are you listening to me? I'm listening. Are you pregnant? Yes. Uh, nine months. Yeah, almost. You are yeah. almost nine months. Okay. God, I must pray for you, okay? I see okay. there's a small problem, but I will sort it out for you this night, okay? Your name is Jemina. Yes. Okay. Jemina. Mm, I need to help you, okay? Because God is telling me you have one child. You have one child, but you have another. The one you are pregnant is a girl. But you have to be very careful. There's a problem coming, but I'll sort it out for you, okay? Okay. God bless you. Hello? 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 God bless you, madam. How are you? I'm good and you. What do you want God to do for your sister? I want to prophecy. Huh? Prophecy and pray for me. You want a prophecy? Yes. Okay, let me pray for you, okay? Father, I pray for this lady by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are Alpha and Omega. I open the door. Amen. Sister, are you working in crutch? Yes. Okay, I see something there. Eh? It's not good. One of your sisters has come and pranked something at your school. Because that crutch was belonged to your mother. Your mother passed away and he left that crutch for you. But the family is fighting you about that crutch. Because now, even uh, before, before we lock down, I see even the crutch is going down. Sister, call me offline. I want to do something for you, okay? okay. God bless you. My name is Prophet Napoku. Maybe you want to call me. You too, you can call me right now. Maybe you call, you don't, uh, you don't get me. All the phones, all the phones, I give it to the secretaries. They are, they are listening to your calls. So I'm only having one number here. So if you call and you don't get me, call another line. Hello. Hello, man of God. Yes, madam, how are you? Fine and you, man of God. God bless you, madam. What do you want God to do for you, sister? Man of God, I need prayer. You need a prayer. Now let me pray for you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I commit this lady unto your hands. Bless her and take away all her problem. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sister, Amen. how are you? Amen. I'm fine. What church you attend? I am not going to You don't you don't attend church. any church. Okay. No, no. God said I must pray for you, Silas, okay? Okay. Because in the realms of the spirit, I'm seeing something. Oh, okay, Amen. Since, Amen. since Amen. South African lockdown, since then up to now, you didn't see your husband. It's true, man. Of and God. you heard that your you heard that your husband is dating a certain woman. It's true, man. Of and God. you heard that that woman is a pastor or is a, is a, a evangelist. Yes, man of God. I need to tell you, sister. Listen to me, serious, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. There's something that your husband is bringing in the house. Please be yes. very careful, okay? Because he has he has he has moved with you, but I see something. There's a secret that is coming, sister. Call me offline. Let me tell you something, okay? Okay, hello. 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 hello man of God. God bless you, hello. sir. Man of God, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Are you an Nigerian? Yes, man of God. God bless you, sir. Sir, what is going on? What is the problem? Man of God, I want you to pray for me. Uh -huh. I'm in crisis. Uh -huh. You are what? Things are not going on well. Uh -huh. I'm in crisis. Uh -huh. okay. Things are not going on well for me. Okay. Brother, can I ask something? Are you a contractor? Because I see you are building a house for a certain white man. Yes, I am a building contractor. You are building a contractor, man. Because I see there's a contract yes. that you are doing. There's a contract. I see there's a contract. You collected by a certain white guy. You are building a house for him in a certain place in Enugu State, Nigeria. Yes, it's true, man. Yeah. That it's white true. man, that white man is planning something good for you, brother. You have to be faithful to that man, okay? Because okay, I see in the realms of the spirit, you are, he's giving you another contract again. Because you are working the man about five years now. The name of that quiet guy is Billy Jones. Yes, it's true. Thank you. I need true. to pray for you, yes. serious brother. 
You have been promising me a lot of things. All right. Yeah. That's why I say you yeah. must be faithful yeah. because the man wants to give you a certain amount. Né? If you can see, he only yeah. he only about South African right? when you convert the money is about South African right? two million. Yes, man of God. Is true. Thank you. One thing is, <laughs> you are very powerful. God bless you. The one thing is, brother. One thing I want to tell you, now, be faithful for, to that man. Be faithful because okay. there's a lot of okay. things that he want to do for you. Okay. Yes, you've been but, me all the time. But brother, let me tell you another thing. Your wife, you chase your wife out. Go and bring your wife back. Okay. Yeah, he, he is a cost trouble. He is a cost trouble. No, the point is, God. brother, listen. The small thing that I've seen about your wife, like, there's a small problem. The, your wife is the one who makes you become like this. Because he is your key. I don't want to talk too much. Brother, call me, call me offline, okay? Okay, thank God, you. God thank bless you. you. My name is Prophet Anapoku. Maybe uh, you want to talk to me, you want me to pray for you. Call me right now. Let me pray for you. Let me let me prophesy you. You need a prayer. My name is Prophet Nana Poku. Number one. Call me today. I have only one church number in my hands. The rest, they are listening to the call. Hello? Hello, man of God. How are you? God bless you, madam. Yes, prophet. You know, I've been watching you on YouTube. Uh-huh, YouTube. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Can you please prophesy me? Because I don't believe in prophecy. Ah, uh -huh, you want the prophecy? Yes, uh, okay. yes, yes, prophet. God is telling me your name is Lelato. Yes, prophet. Your mother was having three children. Two has passed away. It left only you. How do you know that? God bless you. I'm a prophet. God I must tell you something, okay? Yes. Spiritually, what I'm seeing, you have married about three months now. Since you get married, every day when you meet your husband, you see blood is coming out from you. It's true. It's, it's you. true, prophet. There's something that is going on, and then that your husband yes. spiritually. He was taking care of the family. So a certain woman that is in the family, the name of the woman is Sarah. That woman has done something against that your husband, that your husband will never take care of any woman. So it's not only you. Your husband, the first wife that he took, the same thing was happened. Because of that, he didn't get any child. And you, since three months now, any time when he meets you on the bed, you, you see that the blood is coming. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. is I need to help you, okay? There's something that is going on. Hmm? Sure. You write a name Sarah because I hear a name Sarah. Write Sarah ten times and call me back back door. When I finish, call me. I will show you something, okay? So oh, I'm shocked. I'm God bless shocked, you. Prophet. God bless I'm you. Shocked. God bless you. Hello. 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 Yes, sir, boss. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir, boss. I'm listening to you. This prophet Nana Poku number one. Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, I have a problem. Yes, talk to me. I have a, I have a problem. Talk to uh, me. My, 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 my dream. What? My, my, my dreams. Your dream? No, no, no. Your my, manhood? My, 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 my dream. Ah, your manhood. Uh -huh, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. yes. It does make it does make, um, hard. Ah, uh, it's hard? Yes, yes, it's hard. For like one week. One week is hard. Yes, please. It and never. I'm suffering. Have you taken you to hospital? Yes, please. I've taken to hospital. You, is it like it's hard? Like uh, it's ready to work? No, no. It is hard. It has become hard. Like, uh, like a hard like. <laughs> yeah, he, he couldn't be on the line. Maybe you're watching. You can call again. And he said the man who is hard. Ah man, it's like hard, hard. Like it's ready to work. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of news. Brother, as you are listening to me, maybe it has cut. You can call me again, then I can help you. Is that the man who is hard? I want to know that hard. Either it's up hard or it's, it's hard by itself. <laughs> My name is number one. Call me right now. Call me right now. I will leave here very soon. I don't take more time in the studio. So call me. Let me prophesy over your life. Call me. Let me tell you something in your life. Call me. Let God himself speak in your life. My name is Nana Poku, number one. Call me right now. Maybe you call and say, Prophet, I need a prayers, Prophet. I need uh, a, a, a miracle money, Prophet. I need a deliverance. Call me right now and your life will never ever be the same. My name is Prophet Nana Poku, number one. When you come to the life, say, Prophet, I need a prayers. Haman, you know what? The other phones are with the, the, uh, the other people because today I was in the house making prayers. 
So I give them all of them. So when you call me and you don't get me, try. Try. Try and call. Try and call. Haman, I want to leave it here now and go and get the phones that people are those that they are watching or that those that the people are calling. I'm going to get the phone now. Beloved one, listen to me. I'm leaving the studio right now. Maybe you are calling me. You don't get me direct. I'm going to get the phones. Have you seen there's an account number on the screen? Take that account number and say, Prophet Nana, I want to donate 200 rand, 100 rand inside. They want you to donate. Call me. Call me, Prophet Nana Poku. I'll pray for you. May the Lord God bless you. I greet everybody, everybody who was watching me. May the Lord God bless all of you. I want to leave you here. We shall meet on Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Sunday morning, we shall meet again. May the Lord God bless you. I leave it here with peace. Bye-bye.